What has nature done this time? This here is a Banksia seed pod. They grow in Australia with all the other weird stuff. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do with it. But I think because of the 4th of July, let's do something patriotic. We're gonna put it on the lathe. And make something cool with it. Before we get turning this here seed pod, I would like to take a moment to say thank you to the men and women who have risked their lives to serve our country. Without those people, I wouldn't be able to make this video and you wouldn't be sitting there watching it. Thank you for your service. Now let's turn this seed pod. On the ends of these, it's not a really good starting point for us. I'm gonna chop this off so we have something flush to begin uh, our turn with. All right, so I have all my ends cut off here. It gives me a good starting point to get it on the lathe. First things first, I gotta make sure that there's a nice little indent to hold this tool. This thing looks like an egg from aliens. Hopefully there's not one inside. All right, let's get turning. And it's such a weird thing to turn. I'm gonna put a tenon on it so I can put it in my chuck. And that way we'll be able to turn the tip and uh, we won't need this tailstock here. Sweet! All right, we're gonna take this one off, put another one on. All these little hairs, they feel just like felt. It's real soft and you can see these little pods that's where the seeds go you can see a couple seeds in there I'm gonna have to pick those out before I finish it all right number two I'm gonna try a different tool right here I got my bowl gouge the other one was a smaller bowl gouge but uh, let's see if this one works any better All right, let's switch it out and put another one on. Oh yeah, fat boy. Look at this guy. He is really detailed. Let's turn it. We're gonna do something different with this one. Ow. All right, all set up for the first one. Here we go. Now I'm going to start sanding it down from 100 grit to 1000 grit and that will really give us a nice smooth finish and it will help us to shape it a little bit more evenly. For good measure let's go to 1200. Oh yeah. Okay so we got uh, the shell done. 
Now let's go finish the bullet tip here. Alright, I got it pretty close to where I want it. I'm going to finish this off by sanding it. That way I won't have any tool catches and it will be much cleaner. Oh yeah, nice and shiny. There's some imperfections, but that's just because of the way this thing is. So we're going to take the parting tool here and cut it off. There's a little nub left on there. I'm going to chop that off uh, after I take this off. It's making me a little nervous that this was rotating and it's kind of loose. So we'll take this off here and cut this guy off and then sand the bottom. All right, time to put on some finish. Okay, so the key with tongue oil is to let it set with a bunch of goop on it. Uh, let it absorb and then you can come back with, uh, you know, another thick coat and then two more thin coats in order to really make it shine. So we're just gonna let this sit. While this is sitting, we are going to turn another one. So after I rough turned one of these, I decided I'm gonna cast it. And this guy is sitting in blue resin. Uh, it's epoxy resin, it's been in here for a few days. I'm not sure if it got into all the voids that are in this seed pod. So we're gonna go turn it and see what we come up with. Let's do it. I gotta get this on slow-mo. I'm gonna switch cameras. Alright, so that was a fail. This guy does not look good at all. The resin uh, did not cure right. It did not fill these pockets in, so we're gonna scrap it. We're going to go turn this guy into a bullet tip since he's fatter than the other ones. I thought it looked pretty cool. I'm going to get another piece of wood to make the shell with. So let's go do it. So here I have a white ash vase that I turned from a log a while back. I took it upstairs and the old lady said take it right back down. So here it sits. We're going to sacrifice it for the shell of our bullet. And it does have a flaw. There is a giant crack that goes up the center of it. So when we get it rough turned to the approximate size, I'm going to fill that in with some quick set epoxy. And then we're going to return it and get it finished. So let's get going. Do not try this at home. All right, before I go any further, I'm going to go ahead and turn it around, put it on the chuck. Thank you. 
Wait. Now we gotta wait uh, 20 minutes. See you then. It's been 20 minutes. Alright, it looks like the epoxy has hardened. So we're gonna go ahead and turn it also at the end here. Use a Forstner bit to make an opening to put our bullet tip. We'll do that as well. And by the way, if you know your ammunition, this part does taper in slightly so that it can fit into the barrel. So I have this uh, screw, it's, it's two-sided. I'm going to drill a hole in the bottom of this so I can put one side in. That way it will be easier for us to put the tip on. Here's the side that I'm going to turn down that's going to insert into the shell. I'm going to do a test area in one spot and then once I get it where I want it, which it's really close now, then I'll do the remaining up. But it's going to be a slight taper, that way it fits snug. Sweet! Alright, time to finish her off. I actually got the screw in the chuck of the drill, so I can just drill it right into here. Now let's finish it. Now for the fun part. First mission, failure. Second mission, training exercise. Third mission, success. The Banksy Bullet. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next project.